Okay everyone, this is Blader and we're back with Macrozone. Let's get right into it. Bam! Oh, this music again. Do 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 I like how the t the shell just teleports onto his head. Yes, there we go. Don't care about that. Three. Four. Got yourself a conveyor belt there. Yeah. Not bad. I'm pretty sure we can go into one of these pipes. Okay, maybe not. So the gimmick of this level is obviously those arrows on the ground. They're conveyor belts that need to be either compensated for, or you can use them to your advantage. Okay, what we got here? Uh, let's go... Oh, we need firepower for that. So I can go through this pipe like that, but I can't go through the other way. And the gimmick is, in between here, we've got um, invisible blocks every time. Okay, maybe not in that one. But in this one, yeah. Okay. So we've got another one of these things. Boom! I love this music. Haha, <laughs> yes! Nice to get rid of that as well. Not bad. Do 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 anyone who's got OCD that coin that I missed out it's really going to annoy them ring that ring a ding ding yes can kill these things now instead of running away yes there's got to be something down this pipe there has to be really come on all right there's hidden blocks here I'm sure of it or not we're gonna need that carrot there we go there we go, and should be one more. There we go. Can't believe I remembered that after all this time. Jump, jump. There we go. Okay, so this last part of the level is a little gauntlet. Not really a gauntlet, but it's um, a series of jumps that you need to make. Obviously, if you've got the carrot power, you'll be able to get up there a lot faster. Oh my god. You'll be able to get up there a lot faster. Oh my god. Ugh. Can you imagine if I didn't have the carrot, I'd be dead in that pit already. But that fire isn't an instant kill. It only does um, regular damage to you. I'll carry this on my head. Okay, maybe maybe not. Apparently if you whack that thing off the, off the roof, it'll die as well. The bell is pretty easy to get. Ooh, exactly 200 seconds. Not bad. Okay, I hope we can get three lives for this. Boom. Gotcha. Pew, pew. Gotcha. That's, that's the sound effect for uh, getting lives. Okay, so with that, we are now at the boss. Now, this boss in the macro zone, um, well, yeah, you can guess along the way. What, what do you think that... Uh, what the hell is that a door? Hmm, never mind. Anyway, um, yeah, the boss in this level will be something that... Um, in any films like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids or... Um, I don't know, some other... Like, Fern Gully or some shit like that. Hey, get, get back here with my life! Where are you going? Give me that. Yeah, so... Think of any small films like... Thumbelina, Tom Thumb or... Some other stuff like that with small people. What what usually constitutes the bad guys or bad animals in those? So you, I'll keep you I'll keep you hanging until the end. Take a guess. What do, what do you think an enemy could be? Pretty sure there's something up here. Oh come on. Oh my god, my curiosity is just my downfall. Whatever. Jump on you. Oh shit. Nope. Come on. Ugh. This thing is really starting to annoy me. It just disappears then? Okay. Just like that, it's gone. Ooh, money. Give me the money. Oh, what do you realize? Look, these are bookcases. Sorry, a, a books making a, a staircase. So th this is just goes to show that we're like really small. Okay, what's down here? 
But if we're tiny, that means everything else in here is tiny. I mean, like, the props and everything, they're, they're still the same size. It's just that Mario and all the enemies, we're, like, really small. I don't know why I had to point that out. I just felt like it. Die. There we go. Here's another life. <laughs> I like that. The, the witch just comes out and just steals it and tries to run off with it. Trying to jack my lives. Get out of here. Okay, there's a halfway point. Should really check whether I can go down these pipes. Nah. Die. Die. Okay, um... Yeah, we're gonna want that. We're not gonna really need to be flying much. Okay, get rid of these spikes. This platform here is trying to make Mario moonwalk. You can, like, try to walk forwards, but... He'll, he'll just keep going backwards. I'll do some Michael Jackson music. <laughs> Seriously though, whenever there's a conveyor belt, I'll always do a Michael Jackson thing. Just because it looks like moonwalking. And moonwalking is just, like, amazing. Okay, so... Have you taken your guess? Have you guessed what the enemy is going to be? In a small zone? If you guessed rat, you're correct! And here's that rat! Oh, come on, man. I'm supposed to shoot it. Okay, come on. Just jump on its head. It's going to do that thing where it drops down. Urgh. I know I can get this thing. There we go. Got a spin jump in there as well. Not that it makes much difference. Come on, you little shit. Arr. Gotcha. Okay, one more hit should do it. Whack! Gotcha. I'll be sure to give you a tribute as well at the end. And with that, we get ourselves our third coin. The house coin. For the macro zone, yes! We're halfway through our adventure! Nice! Okay. So that's that done. And so, in true fashion, ending every single of these bosses, we're gonna go back and do a bit of gambling! So we did 30 and 50 last time. Got some good stuff out of that. So let's see what's on the roulette for 200. Oh, I saw 20 up there! Okay. But there's also some witches. So th this 200 is fully, um, only lives in here. Let's see if we can get the 20 up. Ah, oh, okay, 3 up. Spending 200 coins on a 3 up. Uh, we got cheapskated a bit. But with that, uh, we have 799 coins. Plen we we'll get back to 999 by the next time. No problem. But yeah, thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe if you want to see some more content. And I will see you in the next episode where we will take on the next zone, which is Pumpkin Zone. Pumpkin Zone is this zone here. We're going to take on that one next time. I will see you then. Take care.